Hey guys, before this video starts, make sure you subscribe and like and comment suggestions what you want in future content on my channel. And this video is going to be how you can create a private or public Facebook group in 2221 coming up. Hey, what's up guys? I'm on my desktop now and I'm going to show you how you can create a Facebook page for yourself. So I'm on my Facebook now you see and how I went to groups like you see so you're probably on here on your Facebook home page and all I went uh, to you could either go to groups on this side where my mouse is or you could go to groups over here so you go to groups All right, when you go to groups and you will see this tab under notifications to discover your feed plus create new group. Click that. Now when you go and create new group, you will get the options group name, choose privacy and then invite friends optional and then the desktop preview, the cover, group name, blah blah blah. What I want you to do is put the group name for the example. I'm going to say test and the privacy private and the public means like anyone can see who's in the group and what they post and then private is only members who can see who's who's in the group and what they post. All right, I'm going to do private for in order that in this example. So visibility. Um visible then after that click create and then Facebook is going to bring you to this page like you see you have this random Facebook cover Facebook gives you for your page and when you click edit and choose from illustrations you got different illustrations to pick and I think I'm not sure but do you research on the pixels and dim dimensions to do the um, you know the Facebook covers? And I will have a link down below in the description. What are uh you know what are good you know websites to create your Facebook cover? All right, and then I'm gonna go down here. So you got a little activity like my name created the group test and then admin just now, and you got your little discussion. You could write stuff. You know, test post all right there it is test post you can take people take members feelings and then add photos and you could add, also add events on here if you have any digital virtual or incoming events in person and then in here in the members tab you will see all the members in here and then for now it's only me so of course and then when you start getting members you will get a tab right here where my mouse is saying like welcome members all right so you know and so you know for these tabs up here under test private group one member let me go over here like met, uh, the admin tools I want to focus on don't really like learn everything like there's not really, I want you guys to focus on like member requests, automatic member approvals, and then member membership questions. In the membership questions, I don't know you guys ever joined a group, and then some, some of the groups out there, private groups, public groups, some, some of the times they want you to a answer questions. Like, you know, you could personalize, you know, have questions in here for new members in the group. Another thing, I, what I always do when I create a new group is always I always add group rules. What Facebook does, they give you some examples like be kind and courteous, no promotions or spam, no hate speech or bullying, and da 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 da. And you can do that. You could edit it if you want, you know. And then, yeah. So no promotions or spam. That's what I usually do. I add those four if. I write down other like personalized like you know you know comment a customized 
like rules for the group I can just you know put it up in there all right and then here's the other tab I want you guys to um, work on is keyword alerts what this is every time uh, when a member posts uh, in the group you will get a notification they post like a keyword like let's say like hate for example like hate and then after a member or admin moderator posts something in the group with the like the keyword hate you will get notified and you you're, you're obligated you have a choice to get that you know that post down or just approve it and like like bad words uh, like cussing or anything you know just be creative of what keyword alerts you want in your group and group quality this is just the uh, uh, dates and the quality of the group and pending posts this is when you uh, your settings are set and members can pen posts and that's when when you submit like a post you want to post in the group that's not it, it isn't like approval yet like it's pending to post and this is where you you can as the admin can approve the posts so how you can do that is you go to settings and then also you guys set up the group like the name and description privacy and then all that location so yeah here it is approval all member posts what you do you put that on right you put that on who can't yeah who can post anyone in this group right and when a member posts something in the group they will get like a you know a tab thing like a notification not a notification per se they will get like a message saying your post you have submitted your post it's pending and waiting for approval from the admin and then when members in the group submitted a post it will come into here right it will come into here the post will come to here and there will be a button that says approval or approve you know same thing goes to here member requests and you can approve people to join the group and here this is like setup requirements this is like basic basic requirements you can set up automatic member approvals like for automatic uh, member approvals you could have people in the city where you're located public profile within like 25 miles friends with someone already in your group who has joined Facebook at least one year all right you could set that up if you if you really want you know and I think that's basically it I want to go through and you can uh, you can experiment in a lot of things like activity log uh, scheduled posts this is, this is really explanatory when you schedule a post it can post automatically post uh, in the next two hours three hours six hours in the next two months two months one month to announce your members we have an event we have a call whatever you know and that's what I do on my other groups so and that's really that's it really works for that to be organized in each group and what is very helpful if you need guidance to um, you know grow your group grow engagement in the group there's this tab called education center and that goes to this whole environment of creators with Facebook groups Facebook growth and all that and you can learn from them how you can yourself to grow your group right and I will drop a link of Facebook groups one of my Facebook groups I'm really active on is my tenets I don't want to mention the name never mind I was going to do it but yeah I was going to leave a link of my free group and we have around 40 members I launched it like uh like uh, Halloween day so yeah you could join if you want hey guys I believe that's the end of the video if you guys enjoy it leave a like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more future daily content like this and comment down below what you want me to film of or post on youtube on my channel of 
will you guys enjoy you know wh what's your interests what's your desires and needs you want me to film of and don't hesitate never hesitate in life whatever you want me to do for you I will do it I will do it anyway how you how to optimize your Facebook page creating content content creation posting um, automation posts whatever whatever or it's off that subject and something else whatever uh, in that route or a different route um, I will do it so don't forget uh, subscribe to this channel um, posting daily content and leave a like down below see you guys in the next one peace